Hello, I'm Nelson Daffer for News Express Television Sports. The Premier League in England is uh, currently hotting up. It's uh, continuing to generate interesting matches, interesting battles. And uh, the surprise package perhaps this season are Arsenal who continue to uh, top the Premier League, beating Nottingham Forest on Sunday afternoon uh, by five goals to nothing. Arsenal are in resplendent form and uh, they seem not to, uh, nothing seems to be holding them back. Uh, Manchester City though are hot in pursuit and many people still feel, many uh, Man City are still the favourites of many people. Uh, they feel that uh, with uh, Haaland who is, on, who is in the form of his life and uh, Pep Guardiola assembling a mass cast, uh, a cast of uh, massively uh, uh, big players, Kevin De Bruyne, uh, Diaz, uh, the likes of uh, Rodrigo, the likes of Bernardo Silva, that Man City is only a matter of time before Man City will overhaul Arsenal's lead and be uh, on top themselves. Uh, the big surprise uh, in a negative way for Liverpool fans are Liverpool themselves. Liverpool are in dire, dire form this season. They, it, to, to, to put it mildly, they are having a very disappointing campaign so far. Uh, Liverpool have only managed to win four games in uh, the 12 they have played so far in the Premier League. Recent times, Liverpool uh, have been struggling massively in the league and in past seasons, you would expect that at this time, uh, of course, they will be in a much better position. For Liverpool, is the big question that their fans are asking is why are they struggling uh, to put away the smaller sides in the league? Why are they struggling to defeat sides that you would normally bet your bottom dollar that they are going to beat. They, they drew at home in their very first um, game against Fulham. Uh, they, they, have, uh, they, they failed to beat Leeds at home. They lost by uh, two goals to one uh, recently in the, during the weekend. Of course, uh, they were beaten last week uh, by Nottingham Forest um, by a lone goal courtesy of their former striker, uh, uh, Wony. And so, it's a big worry for Liverpool. Why are they not able to see off sides that are at the lower rung of the table? And this has contributed in no small way to their dismal positioning. Liverpool are eight points off the top four and they are 15 points away from Arsenal. They're 15 points below the league leaders, Arsenal. So the reason why Liverpool are finding it difficult to beat these small teams, I would suggest, are uh, there, there are two main reasons for, for that. Uh, Liverpool, of course, you know that uh, Liverpool have beaten, they're doing well in the Champions League, beating the likes of Ajax um, handsomely. They're, they, they've beaten Manchester City in the Premier League, but uh, they've struggled against the smaller sides. And the main reason for that is a lack of consistency that has arisen from a lack of squad depth. Liverpool are struggling very badly to replace Sadio Mane, the Senegalese talisman who has gone uh, to Bayern Munich. Liverpool, uh, when they come up against those sides that are the lower rung of the table, those sides, uh, those smaller sides, they are struggling to break those sides down because those sides, they are very defensive minded. Those sides defend in low blocks and Liverpool are struggling to have the physicality of a money to wrestle uh, his way through such low blocks. Liverpool have replaced Mane with uh, Nunes, uh, Darwin Nunes, but he himself has uh, not been able to uh, deliver the goods on a consistent enough basis for the Reds. Uh, he doesn't, at the moment, he, he doesn't have the same physicality that Mane brings to the table and the same clinical finishing that a Sadio Mane has. You know, and then of course, injuries as well have played a part in Liverpool's struggles against the smaller sides this season. Uh, there are, the, the, the squad depth of Liverpool is seriously questioned, but when you look at the team, they are missing, uh, like at the start of the season, they were missing, I, I, I think, as much as 10 first team players um, for a team. Uh, that have just lost uh, a player of the influence of Sadio Mane missing 10 first team players is a big ask and you need to have a massive squad depth of quality players to be able to 
uh, make uh, amends for those misses. And so, but they have got younger players. They've got the likes of Cavallo, the likes of Elliot, the likes of uh, Curtis Jones. And these younger players, as you will find with most young players, lack the consistency to win on a regular basis. And so when they come up against teams that defend in low blocks, it's a big ask for them to be able to find the right spaces to operate and get the goals. Look at the goal they got against Manchester City in, uh, in their one new win against Manchester City. Manchester, Manchester City had a corner, Manchester City committed so many players forward and then uh, Liverpool planted Sa uh, Salah just in the half, around the halfway line and uh, one counter-attack, Man City had uh, uh, just uh, Cancelo at the back who missed, kick, who, missed his kick, who missed his kick and Salah was free on goal and scored. Rounded up the goalkeeper, the, uh, the Man City goalkeeper Edison and scored. But against the smaller sides, you have, you have teams that are defending in low blocks and it's difficult. But that does not tell the full story against Leeds. Leeds came out to attack. Leeds were not, uh, were not um, overly defensive when they played against Liverpool and won at Anfield. They played with a brave system. And then the inconsistency of some of the young stars who are tasked with the job of getting results for Liverpool, get the goals to find a way of um, getting more consistent performances of a high level yeah, has been a great undoing of theirs. And so, uh, Jurgen Klopp, the coach, has promised that Liverpool will be much better after the World Cup break. And uh, that remains to be seen. Uh, if Liverpool can get back uh, to uh, the top four and get back to winning ways on a consistent level, remains to be seen. So now, it's bye-bye from me, Nelson Duffy.